Hello again, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida. Those are my colors over there I'm going to be picking from. I'm going to do a background, I think, for a feather. I have a 12 inch by 24 inch canvas standing by and this is my transfer pan. If I get that far, which I may or may not. So, to use the transfer pan, I use my Sherwin-Williams white satin finish paint. And I thought about it, and I don't need a ton, probably have more than I need already, but I'm going to use the Mayan Gold Prison Pour. I'm a Color Art Affiliate. All the colors you saw are Color Art Colors, Prism Pours, and Primary Elements. Not sure how this is going to work, but I thought I wanted a black and white feather, and then I thought about it some more. I've got a really long spatula, which might turn out to be a good thing. I think I need mostly this edge. This is Aussie Floetrol and Amsterdam Black. And I don't know what the cells are going to look like, but usually if I use more, I'm better off. So I'm going to try give myself Still not quite wide enough. Take that and scrape it off. I do keep a studio rag, a wet studio rag made of sweatshirt pants, sweatpants. <laughs> Let those go, go down and assume that they're going to continue to develop. I might blow into this black area. I let it go both ways. See what happens. I know I'm taking a while to figure this out. But I really want to spread those cells around. A straw. I don't have one of my conventional ones. Can't do it over there because there's nothing there to do it with. I do have a little tiny acetate tool. It's my husband. Evidently, he wants to be on the video more than he thinks. I got nothing to lose to by trying anything. All right, I'm gonna wipe that off. Actually, I'm gonna throw in the bucket. So I made a lid out of a piece of acetate, some bamboo skewers, and some tape, and a little bit of super glue. There's my 12 inch by 24 inch canvas. I'll put it in the crossbars. Wipe off my spatula. Because I think I'm going to use it, but we'll see. So basically, I'm going to use some gold in a bunch of places and see how colors mix together. I want to use some Chantilly lace, but what I think I'm going to do is use some Floetrol. So that's like I said, Mayan gold. Excuse me. Yes, that's Mayan gold. This is, and it's a prison pour. This is saffron. And no, I have no idea what I'm doing. This is a primary element. This is Cupid's Crush. And whatever's in the middle is probably going to get lost under a feather if I get that far. And I may not get any further than doing a background. And if I like what I do enough, and it looks too pretty to be a background, then that'll happen too. 
That is Magic Slippers. That is one from one of the new color art primary elements from the Fairy Tale collection. And I'm inclined to start now, but I think I'm going to continue on with my pink and orange theme. This is Jasmine. This is a primary element. It's a little bit lighter and brighter than the Cupid's Crush. I've got a wonderful Queen uh, Amethyst Queen, which is from the new collection. I want to make sure not to put it next to the orange, though. Let's use some of the. This is amazing. This is Burmese red. This is from the Fairy Tales collection, just as the last one was. No plan at all. Back to the Amethyst Queen, I think. Some colors will be stronger than others, and as I go, as I spread them around with each other, we'll find out. This is a mix of frosted, vivid, and vivid, and nam vivid intense, dioxazine purple, phthalo green. This is a just, let's call this a, a medium light purple. It's a nice color, but it's custom, so I don't expect anybody to be able to actually <laughs> reproduce it. Just find something similar. And um, I have an indigo violet that I have to be careful of. And it makes me remember that I have some Egyptian blue I'm contemplating also throwing in there. But for right now, I think I'm going to grab a smaller spatula because I can. I think I'm going to experiment with a little bit of American Floetrol. i got to remember which way I'm going. I'm a little dyslexic. I should have cleared the tip on this. I thought I did. I'm going to move that right out of the way and I don't want to spill this so I'm going to do the same with that. it off. I'm going to keep right going and I think I'm going to go back again and put some more Floetrol in there. And hopefully it doesn't take me too long. I want to start I want to start with the Floetrol but that's not a good idea. I need some paint. So the cells will show up obviously that's not white that's I mean that's the canvas showing through. done anything like this before. It's kind of, kind of, uh, it's a combination of magical and frightening. I think what I'll do with my spaces, I talked about the Egyptian blue. So let's just take the tab off the top. I'm inclined to use some gold too right with the cell activator. Let's do some orange up here. Kind of seems like I probably won't get to add my feather this time, so you should expect that if I don't finish my feather, there will be a part two. Good if I didn't leave any bottles in my way. a little bit muddy. 
But sometimes muddy turns into something good too. All right, I'm not done, but I am going to keep using colors that I like as an incentive to begin. That was the jasmine. This is the magic slippers. Here's the Burmese ruby. And here's my custom mix, which might be a little dangerous. I've got some quinacridone nickel azar gold too. And rather than putting my Mayan gold on the blade of the spatula, I think I'm going to bring it right down there. I think my OXO omelet turning spatula would probably be a better option to me to continue, it occurs to me, because it melds itself to the surface of the canvas better than this blade, which is not working as well as I would like it to. So I'm thinking I'm going to switch. Throw that in the bucket. Put a little more Floatrol in there. Saffron, Jasmine, I am getting the hang of this maybe, Magic Slippers, and this way, well, I guess I could have chosen my other way, chosen to go any way I wanted to the other way too. That was the uh, Amethyst Queen. And that was the Burmese red. I might have called it Burmese ruby by a by mistake. So let's make sure. I want gold down there. Well, I don't really like plugs in my bottle, but when it keeps a, a certain level of control, you know what? I want another color in there. I want mystique, which is a primary element. if I can get it to come out. All right. Now I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to fill in a few places. And I can't really scoop and drag, but I really can borrow some more of that cell activator that pooled. I don't think I'm going to get to add a feather, a feather to this. This is just too cool not to keep going. I thought about doing a geometric and I could bring a card in, but I think it would ruin what I've got. I'm having a good time with what I've got. Another good thing I like about the OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula is you can run it right along the edge, which is not a bad idea. So even though it's not with a feather, pop that bubble. I mean, I could still add the feather. But it's probably going to be the next video instead. I'll decide before I'm done. All right, so not bad. Not sure about that in there, but I could. I could definitely grab some white cell activator, some Mayan gold. and add a little more texture. So if I don't get all my cells, that's okay. So I'm going to hit that spot that looks like nothing but Floetrol. 
my little acetate tool. The acetate tools, there is a video creating the acetate tools. Just going to sort of dissipate the Floetrol look so that it has some, some color over it. I don't think I'm going to change that. I like that. So, I like the Mystique. Which I said was a prison pour. I never did use any quinacridone nicolazo gold, so maybe I'll put a little of that in there. And a little more jasmine. And a little more gold. Now, I'm going to give myself two minutes so I have two minutes when the timer goes off, but I'm going to continue on. And instead of my spatula, I'm going to use my little acetate tool. Because I think I can manipulate my gaps that aren't that big right now. by pressing my finger down on the tool. I think I need some more though. I've wanted to do something like this for a while. I see I've got some purple in there. I'm not sure. That big spot. Not sure what's going to happen with that. I don't need to spin because I don't have any house paint and no heavy base. And all I did was just put down colors and go for it. Favorite colors. I will check around my edges to make sure I don't have anything showing. That was fun. And we don't really have enough time for a feather anyway, so I'll just do something else next time as a background. And I will still use my paint. I'm just going to use my finger right now, make sure I have no edges showing. So I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other, take care of yourselves. Check out my link tree for my Amazon link and my Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. No, I love you guys, and uh, you inspire the heck out of me. I'm just going to stick my fingers in any little gaps that I see. Not that that flow trail won't be uh, canvas colored. I'm not sure that was my best idea, but it's probably not my worst idea. It's just an experiment. And I like the, I like what I got. I like the white. It's uh, It might be worth using some of the uh, Vivid Intense white next time. I don't know what this looks like from your direction, but it's pretty cool from mine. I definitely have a place that I want to add some paint that I didn't see until right then. Wow, there's some beautiful colors in there and that's a fun design. Lost my shoe. So please give me a thumbs up when you share my videos You help me out. That's exciting. That's pretty cool. I will be adding black to the edges of the painting. That is very exciting. I'm loving that. Woo! New colors abound. There's a 20% off color art coupon code. And uh, it might, if I post the video quickly enough, it, uh, it's 27% off until March, um, March 10th. Anyway. I see I've got a little canvas showing, and I'm not a big fan of canvas showing. But a little bit isn't going to kill any of anything. Oh, that's nice and deep. Let's use some of that. <laughs> All right, where was I? Thank you guys for the donations through PayPal that help keep me painting and bringing new tutorials. And uh, buying Floetrol and GAC 800 and other expensive items that we all need to keep our paint from cracking. And the flow trial will help level things out. There isn't that much. I'll check for bubbles. I will torch briefly. Yeah, I'm still finding little places I missed.
Probably not the most adept method. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you in on. Don't forget the color.